I'm so excited about all of us getting together to try to start this cooperative sector here in Miami. And it really takes all of us to do it because it's a really big undertaking. So Property Solutions Co-op is an ecotech property and facility maintenance cooperative here in Miami, Florida that provides commercial quality wireless sensor technology. And I'll get to that. <laughs> that utilizes real-time data to increase efficiency and decrease liabilities. If you've ever used a phone to count your steps or maybe a, a health app to monitor your activities through the day, then you've used it. It's a, sens it's a sensor that collects data and then another uh, equipment that basically analyzes that. So what we want to do is bring that technology um, to, to properties and facilities to better maintain them. And it's already being done. We are the Enabled Collective, creating inclusive opportunities for the disabled community. Um, with that, I'm going to pass it on to Mark to share with you all our story. We are working with businesses and entrepreneurs for people who have disabilities. We are going to work with different organizations to provide services so they can become more accessible and inclusive. Our story really it starts with um, myself. I'm deaf and I noticed that there are many people with disabilities who don't have the ability to work the same as others uh, in in, in different environments. Our solution is to create uh, an organization that'll help make uh, inclusivity and accessibility a lot easier to uh, provide to the Miami community. And the way we wanna do that is by having a startup studio and consulting firm. We are Cienfuegos. We are Miami's first worker-owned radical bookstore, cafe, and event space. There aren't any living local examples of worker-owned co-ops in Miami. People's imaginations are thus limited to conventional and hierarchical models of doing business and participating in their economy. There's not many spaces in Miami where all kinds of marginalized people can feel not only safe, but empowered. There's a real lack of community-driven spaces and solidarity economy initiatives. We aim to provide resources and space to our communities and our social movements that create transformative change. We are, for now, you're seeing the whole of Aligned Visionaries, essentially the emergent thinkers of the world, right? These creative people, healing practitioners, heart-led business owners that we lovingly call our visionaries, don't always know ways to integrate what is happening in their hearts and souls, their inner values, beliefs, and practices to being able to function in 2021 with business. Clearly, we think that Aligned Visionaries is the solution to this problem. And what it is to reiterate, it's an online membership community program for creatives, healing practitioners, heart-centered business owners. And what we do in that space, it's already been launched. We connect, we learn, and we grow together. We are a Lantana Language Collective. My name is Pia DeSanglis. I'm one of the four founding members. We are an interpretation and translation collective. Um, we provide interlanguage communication services by providing interpretation, translation, and language justice education to our clients in order to bridge the gaps in communication we see in our community. How did we get here? Uh, for a lot of us, that has to do with our lived experiences as immigrants, children of immigrants or migrant families, or having family members that were deaf or hard of hearing. Um, and so we really understand the disparities that not having language access and language justice brings to our communities. And many people in our community do not have free access to important information. And I also wanna highlight the word participation because it's not only providing access to information, but it's also uh, providing the process and helping the process for 
different communities that speak different languages to participate in our community processes. Hi, everybody. Um, our name is Point, the Transportation Collective. We take pride in our ride. Um, so basically, we are an, al uh, an alternative option in the ride share space. And our story is that we are inspired by drivers in our family who have had unsafe and unfair working conditions. So, so our idea is to give more dignity back to the drivers and give a true sense of comfort to the passengers. Um, we take the uncertainty out of your ride by providing consist consistently exceptional tailored services by knowledgeable professional drivers in our own fleet of vehicles outfitted in your most needed amenities whether it's a pre-scheduled recur recurring ride with a driver you know and trust or a perfectly equipped vehicle to make your call productive, we're a better option for getting from point A to point B. We have a lot of drivers we know in this area um, and most of them or many of them are unhappy in their current employment situation for various kinds of reasons. Um, and so as we're developing as a company, we want to you know, like take those complaints into mind and make sure that our model addresses them the way others hasn't. And we are comb cutters. We're beekeepers and we focus on bee education and live bee removals. Um, comb cutters mission is to uplift marginalized people and create long-term shifts towards more sustainable communities through working with educating and introducing folks to bees, pollinators, and local ecology. And what is the problem? Um, the problem as we see it is that our neighborhoods are food and pollinator deserts. We live on heat islands and um, Though we maybe can all feel those things, there's a lack of knowledge on how all of these things are interconnected to each other and to us. Yes, um, our, you know, we're in food deserts, we are in, on heat islands, you know, we're constantly under threat of hurricane season. Um, so the solutions as we see them are um, ma mainly through education. So we wanna help change these three change these things through education and through overall bolstering of pollinator habitats and sustainable practices? Uh, we've been in business for over 10 years and can see that more and more people are choosing live bee removals over extermination. Um, we have been told directly by many customers that they would like more workshops and programming from us. Our mission and values are deeply rooted in community. We have a unique perspective on how we teach about bees and care for them. And we're intentional about bringing our lessons from the hive into every uh, project we take on.